Jelena Masco is the founder and executive director of the Lumiere de Education Foundation, and she's here to invite all of us to the Red Carpet Gala. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so anxious to hear about uh, this foundation and, and your story with it and your connection. So what does your foundation do? Well, my foundation is Lumiere d'Education, which means light of education in English. Um, it's a nonprofit that my brother and I started a couple of years ago in order to give free education to Haitian children who wouldn't have it otherwise. Um, it's near and dear to our heart because I was born in Haiti and I came here when I was 12 years old. Not only that, but my mom as a young child, she never had an education because she was the oldest and her parents couldn't afford it. So we decided to create the foundation so that way we can help as many children as possible. What do children do if they don't have, uh, if, they, if they have funding, where do they go to school? Well, 90% of the school in Haiti are privately owned. And their parents are living on less than $3 a day. So if they cannot afford to send them to school, they stay home. They don't get to go. So our foundation just create that environment for them so they can have a healthy and productive life. We have over 138 kids at our school, and we have 12 staffs. We pay for their food, we pay for their uniforms, everything that they would need to have an education. So we pay for all of that. Well, how can we help? I know the gala's coming up, so it's buy a ticket for one thing. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited. Our um, red carpet gala, people can come dress as their favorite celebrity. Or on roads. Oh, oh, well, he's everybody's favorite celebrity. Oh, yeah. yeah. They can come dress as their favorite celebrity or they can, you know, wear something from their closet. It's just going to be fun. But glam it up. Glam, glam it up. Glam good. it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's $40 per person and 100% of everything that we raise go directly to our children. Um, and we have food. We have a DJ. And we have an MC. He's a comedian, so that's going to be some laughter. That'd be fun, yes. Yeah, and we're going to have a beautiful performance by Studio D. So they're going to come and help me. Children helping other children, basically. Well, they're the people to do that very thing. And where yeah. will it be located this year? It's going to be at um, the Crescent Room by Milestones, owned by the Easter Seal. Mm -hmm. And it's on Cullen Avenue, and it's from 6 to 10.30 p.m. That's a beautiful venue. Oh, yes, it's done, beautiful. We've done several things there, and it's a lot of fun. Yes. How do we get our tickets, Julia? Um, you can go to our Facebook page, um, Lumière d'Education, or you can go on our website, lumièrededucation.org, or you can reach out to me, Julina Masco, or you can go on Eventbrite and get it there, the Red Carpet Gala in Evansville, Indiana. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the, the, the need on the ground there in Haiti. Mm -hmm. what, what have you discovered since you've been educating these children? Mm -hmm. uh, if you have some positive stories that you can share with us about how it changes the kids' lives? Oh, yes, absolutely. We have a few kids that's never been to school before. I have two boys, and they were born here in America, and they have free education. Well, in Haiti, there's no such thing, So, because 90% of the schools are privately owned, and over 200,000 children don't have an education. That's unbelievable. Yes. So what our organization is doing, we're trying to help that community, because they don't have indoor plumbing or electricity or running water. So what we're doing this year, for the first time, we were able to give them clean water to drink, and they're getting their first bathroom. So it's going to be amazing. And I'm taking a trip to Haiti next week so we can see the new bathroom, the new facility that was donated by J.D. Chef Foundation. So this community is amazing because everybody's embracing our organization and they want to help our kids. Yeah, we have a, a lot of innovators and change makers here Absolutely. in the Tri-State and that's got to be a good thing because yes. we've had the Chef Foundation story yeah. on the show and I just love what they do yes. and the fact that they can really supply you some things that you need. Yeah. When, when you're going to go back soon, mm -hmm. how often do you go? I go once a year so that way I can see the kids, spend some time with them, and we're going to work on the school so that way we can build some desks for them and so we can make the classrooms more functional. If people who are watching have, have a skill maybe that you need, how, what's the best way for them to reach out and offer to help in some way? They can always check our website or check our Facebook page and talk to one of our um, board members. They're more than willing to help um, because they're all volunteers. Everybody in our organization is volunteer. So they are more than happy to tell you about it and how you can get involved or go to Haiti with us and see the kids. I was going to ask you, do you take trips and take some of your sponsors or other people who are interested? Yes. So we have three people from the JD Chef Foundation that's going with us next week. And um, we're, we're about to take 10 people with us, basically. And it's going to be fun. And my brother and I, we created a foundation. So he's going to take some people from Orlando with him. 
so they can help us build some desks. So they'll actually get their hands dirty when they're oh, there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You cannot come if you can't get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do they need to bring any equipment or is all that there? Um, the contractor, he's going to bring the equipment with him that he needs. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to buy the plywood and everything that we need for the desk. And I'm taking some supplies with me so that way the kids can have it. And we're going to take some bubbles so that way they, the kindergartners can play. Oh, well, I like that too. So it'll be fun for the grown ups oh, as well. Oh, absolutely. Are you going to have an opportunity where people can sponsor a child or a student? Yes. Um, it only take, uh, it costs $14 a month to send a child to school in Haiti. In Haiti. And the reason why I went with $40 for our event, because we pay our teachers $60 a month to teach the kids. So a dollar go extremely far in Haiti. That's well, that's just amazing to hear all the way around. Thank you. Thank you. Jelena, so will you come back after your mission trip and absolutely. share some of your pictures with us? I will, absolutely. We would love to see those pretty kids. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much and best of luck. Thank you so much for having me. Get your tickets for the red carpet gala and have some fun and do some good yes. all at the same time. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this message. Stay with us.